So we've got episode two of Dexter, let's do a breakdown. Hey guys, before I get into this review, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. You can always follow me on Twitter and TikTok, so if you're on any of those platforms, please hook me up. Just to let you know guys, this is a review for the second episode, so if you've not watched the first episode, this video is probably not the right one for you. I've also done a review for the first one, so if you're keen, please check it out, and then go back to this review, so yeah. So episode two has been dropped, and yeah, it's actually a really good episode, I'm really enjoying it. I love the whole aspect that in this episode it is pretty much just Dexter trying to be a father to his kid. The fact that he wants to invite him into his life, but he does kind of know that it's going to obviously cause a lot of ruckus, isn't it really? I mean, he kind of thinks that having his son around is going to kind of stop him from waking up his dark passenger, which I don't necessarily think it's going to go down that way. Obviously, you've got Debs. She really disagrees. She's kind of almost taunting Dexter, like, don't do it or you're going to die. You're going to kill someone. She's literally coming back like she's here to taunt him. Like, some of the scenes where you see Debs, like, really angry with Dexter, it's almost like something out of a horror movie. It's, like, really intense. Like, the bit where she was kind of knocking on the door with the bullet that she was shot with and just kind of grabs Dexter by the face and just stuffs the bullet into his mouth and just starts cursing at him and just violently being aggressive to her, and I'm like, whoa, this is like, what's going on? Obviously in his mind, she's kind of like the voice of reason, but it just seems like really violent, like really intense, and it's quite interesting how that's gonna go down. You can see in this episode that Dexter's trying to hide all the evidence, and he thinks he's got home scot-free. He's going out with one of the sheriffs, I think, from the police. So that's in his favor, obviously, so he's not really seen as a suspect. The police are kind of coming in, setting up where he lives. But they didn't really ask him any questions. It was just more like, oh, we're going to set up here Dexter and we're going to find out who did it and all the clues are on what actually happened. But it's not really murder because they think the guy that shot the the animal, that's kind of done a runner because it's illegal for someone to shoot an animal in that area, apparently. But no, the relationship he's got with this kid, um, it's definitely more drawn that way in this episode. You definitely see Dexter trying to be more of a father figure, wanting his kid to kind of stay with him. Um, and you can definitely see Harrison's just kind of like not all together with it. He's only there to kind of ask questions and why Dexter actually left. And so most of the episode just kind of consists of why he actually left. But there's obviously a lot of lying involved because he can't obviously say to his son, you know, I, I murdered all these people and I just needed a fresh start. But Harrison's got to this point where he feels Dexter left because of him. And Dexter obviously said, no, it's not you. It, it's me. I've left because of my dog passenger, obviously not being told that to Harrison. Um, but I see where it's going, but I think at some point later on in the season, there's a lot of questions that's, that's gonna be had, especially with the sheriff police, because she's only just found out as well, Dexter's girlfriend, that he has a son. And she's kind of like, mm, well, clearly he had a life, but I'm quite surprised all these questions have not been asked. But like I say, it's only episode two, so I think a lot of things are gonna start getting unraveled, I suspect. I definitely think it's going to be more difficult for Dexter. In his eyes, he kind of feels like having his son there will kind of stop him from doing bad things. But I think it's going to be quite the opposite. And that's that's what this whole season is going to be about, I think. I think it's just going to be about his past to haunt him. I think there's going to be something to do with his son. Cause, because I think with Dexter, I think he's most worried about his son being like him. But Harrison's just quite the opposite. You know, he likes animals. He gets on with people. You don't really sense a dark passenger with inside him. And I think Dexter kind of kind of realises that the fact that his son's nothing like him and maybe getting to know him a bit more will kind of prove that. But I think there's something more to be said about it. I think I think with Harrison, he's not fully telling Dexter the full story. Obviously, he's got his wits about him. He's, he's kind of a little bit suspicious about his father with the kind of answers he's been getting from them. And he's probably realising he's not quite being truthful. Obviously, he's not being truthful. But I think there's more to do with it, I feel. I mean, it'd be really interesting if they just somehow became killers together and it was like a father-son kind of deal. Uh, but hopefully that's not how it's going to go down. That wouldn't be a great kind of continuation. That's all that doesn't happen. I think that now Dexter has found his son, I think it's just going to be really difficult for him to let him go. Because his son's only kind of there for a short time from what Harrison says. He'll be with his father for a little bit, probably get to know him, find a few more answers. And some answers that Dexter's obviously not telling him. Um, 
But it'll be interesting to see how this one ravels. And it's very interesting with the side of things with that girl that's just kind of passing through, or so she says she's passing through. Uh, in this episode, you kind of see her, she's, she's drinking champagne and then all of a sudden she's crying in the bathroom. And then all of a sudden she can't get out of her apartment and she realizes there's somebody like watching her. She sees this kind of message on the ceiling that says you're already dead. And she's obviously, she's really worried. And it's, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like a, a horror film. You know, it's very, um, it is very intense, I must admit. But I guess we'll see how that goes. We also meet the father of the, uh, the victim in the second episode. Everyone's kind of ready to stop searching for, for this guy that's gone missing. And the father just kind of appears to say, what are you all doing? Why are you leaving? We're all meant to be a family in this community. Let's keep going. And Dex just kind of like, oh, can we just stop now, please? We've, you're not going to find anything. He's covered everything. Obviously, this is what Dex is thinking in his mind. But obviously, with the whole community, they want to keep looking throughout the night. And that's what they do. And Dexter's just kind of like, well, they probably won't find anything, but it's it's still not behind him. There's still a lot of things that will probably get kind of revealed, which seems to be the case. One of the scenes I found quite interesting was when Harrison's getting friendlier with the locals, some of the kids his own age. Um, basically, the kids just kind of want to get high, break into this place, and they're finding it difficult to break in. And Harrison kind of steps up with his knife and just kind of waddles the door open. And the kids are just kind of like looking at him like, okay, the new kid's obviously got some skill, whatever. Um, and then they obviously ask him, does he want any weed? And Harrison kind of stops them and says, no, I'm getting off the stuff. I've had a bit of a background with drugs and I'm clean. So obviously he wants to kind of keep a, keep a head straight on with things that's going on. So it kind of makes me think or feel that, is he planning something? Is he is... Is he his father's double? Is he following in his father's footsteps is the question. Or maybe somebody's paid him or, or maybe someone's found out where Dexter actually is and they're using his son to actually get to him. You know, I mean, with, will the story go that way? You know, or is there some sort of backstory to do with Harrison? You know, is he, is he the innocent kid that we know at this point? Or is he some devious killer just like his father? You know, that is, that is just something really to think about. So anyway, guys, did you watch the episode? Please comment below, let me know, turn on notifications, and please, please like to the channel. I'd really appreciate the follow. Uh, and uh, have a nice week, guys. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.